have you heard about the Agility Robotics Digit? It's the latest robot on the block and it's causing quite a stir. According to its creators, it's a scientific breakthrough layered with world-class engineering. That sounds pretty fancy, doesn't it? But what's even cooler is that this robot is more advanced than other similar products. It not only has legs, but also a torso, arms, and a head. Plus, the knee joints bend backwards, so the robot can walk on all kinds of terrain, from rocks to grass. It's like the robot version of a gymnast, doing all kinds of fancy moves. But this robot isn't just for show. It can actually do some heavy lifting, too. For example, it can be used in a warehouse or for delivery. The robot can carry boxes weighing up to 16 kilograms, place them on a conveyor belt, and work together with its mechanical colleagues. And get this, each robot can work for up to 16 hours, which means it can replace two employees if necessary. That's some serious productivity. Of course, all this high-tech comes with a price tag. The digit costs six figures, but hey, it's worth it if you want to replace your human workers with a robot that can work longer and more efficiently. Plus, when you consider the cost of an hour's work, including all costs, it's only 25 bucks. Have you heard about the new hoverbike called Bayonets Turismo? It's causing quite a stir in the United Arab Emirates. Apparently, a local startup has created a 300-kilogram vehicle that can rise up to 20 meters and accelerate to 80 kilometers per hour using a 230-horsepower Kawasaki racing engine. Even government officials showed up to the presentation and were impressed by its potential for emergency services. The hoverbike can run for up to 40 minutes on a full tank, which is enough time to deliver cargo, reach an emergency patient, or assist rescuers. It's definitely a cutting-edge solution, but the price tag might make your wallet cry. One hoverbike costs a whopping $700,000. Nonetheless, plans are already in motion to further refine the vehicle and open a production facility in the UAE. Who knows, maybe we'll be seeing these flying around sooner than we think. Direct Drive Diablo? It's a robot that's supposed to make your life easier, and it can even entertain you. It has these two big wheels that it can balance itself on, and it can tilt by leaning on these two small wheels. It's super fast too, with a speed of 2 meters per second, and can carry a payload of up to 80 kilograms. That's pretty impressive. Oh, and get this, it can even jump 8 centimeters and moonwalk if you need it to. Talk about having some fancy moves. The best part is that you don't even have to be a pro to control it. All you need is a joystick, and you're good to go. And, if you're worried about the battery life, fear not. One charge can last for 3 to 4 hours. One user suggested that they should make a bigger version, like a motorcycle that you can ride like motocross with obstacles. Can you imagine that? It would be like a robot thrill ride. Maybe the designers will take note of that suggestion, who knows? Did you know that falling coconuts are more deadly than shark attacks? It's true, back in 2001 there were only 76 unprovoked shark attacks on humans worldwide, while about 150 people die each year from falling coconuts. I guess we should be more afraid of tropical fruit than sharks, right? But just because shark attacks are statistically rare doesn't mean people aren't afraid of them. That's why companies around the world are selling all kinds of anti-shark gadgets. One of them is the e-spear, and let me tell you, it's quite the contraption. The $300 gadget promises to protect you with a 2.5 by 1 meter electromagnetic field that causes sharks to suffer uncontrollable muscle spasms. That sounds like a nightmare for the sharks, but a dream come true for swimmers. The gadget only weighs 250 grams and can be worn on your belt. Plus, it has a maximum operating depth of 100 meters, so you'll be protected even if you're diving deep. The company claims that this technology is the most effective in the world and also works on stingrays, but don't worry, it won't disturb any whales or dolphins. Because, you know, we wouldn't want to mess with the cute and friendly marine animals. Have you heard about H-Arrow? 
It's a new hybrid aircraft from Germany that's being marketed as a new way to fly. It's kind of like a cross between a drone and an airship, and it uses helium to stay airborne. Apparently, it's great for a bunch of different tasks, from patrolling to checking the condition of bridges. The Zero version of h Aero can stay in the air for a couple of hours and can carry up to 500 grams, while the Kite version can lift up to 3 kilograms to an altitude of 200 meters. And get this, they can fly autonomously and are compatible with 4G, 5G, and even SATCOM. Plus, they can be powered by solar panels, and there are no size limitations. I think it's pretty cool that one of their partners is the International Civil Aviation Organization. It seems like these hybrid drones could be the future of aviation. Did you hear about the Relativity Space Terran 1 rocket? It's a pretty big deal. It's the first rocket in the West to use methane as fuel and reach the conventional boundary between the atmosphere and outer space. Plus, it's almost fully 3D printed, can you believe that? 85% of its parts have been printed so far, and they plan to reach 95%. It's like the largest object ever created with a 3D printer. I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? But you know what's even more impressive? The rocket's commercial launch figure is over $1.6 billion. That's a lot of dough. And even though the launch on March 23rd wasn't successful, the second stage engine failed, the prospects for the Terran 1 rocket are still looking good. They can build this rocket in just a couple of months and the payload is 1,250 kilograms. Not bad for tasks in low Earth orbit. I mean, who wouldn't want a rocket that's fast, efficient, and almost entirely 3D printed? Sure, the first launch wasn't perfect, but hey, nobody's perfect, right? I'm sure they'll get it right eventually. Plus, it's always good to have a backup plan in case you need to launch something into outer space in a hurry. It looks like our rovers are becoming quite the adventurers, aren't they? From exploring the red planet to traversing sand mines and deserts on Earth, they sure are racking up the kilometers. Take the Sherpa TT, for example. This bad boy has shown some serious skills in navigating different terrains. In Germany, it proved to be speedier than the Perseverance, covering 500 meters in just under 3 hours. However, in Morocco, it hit a little snag with the terrain being too similar, but it still managed to drive a respectable 1.3 kilometers and even pointed out some interesting rocks for the cameras to capture. These rovers are becoming quite the travelers, maybe soon we'll have to start planning their vacations too. Have you heard about the soft robotic heart developed by the folks at MIT? It's basically a 3D printed heart that's tailored to fit the specific needs of each patient. The heart is printed using special polymer inks that maintain their elasticity even after hardening. This new technology can help doctors select the best treatment options and test the effects of different implants. It's also great for training new doctors. And get this, the whole process from building to printing and activating the model takes only one day. It's like they're printing hearts on demand. It's not about flying cars, but it's still pretty cool. Have you heard about the hydrogen fuel cell planes? Yes, you heard it right, planes powered by hydrogen. Universal Hydrogen is a company that's making it possible. They have already received orders worth a billion dollars from 250 customers, and Air New Zealand is one of them. The planes will have electric engines powered by hydrogen cells, and they plan to use liquid hydrogen for storage. They recently tested the plane, and it flew successfully for 15 minutes and climbed up to 3.5 kilometers above sea level. It's a big step towards environmentally friendly air travel, and who knows, we might just see more of these in the sky soon. Oh boy, engineers always find ways to surprise us with their inventions, and the Velox amphibious robot is no exception. Who knew that the principles of collecting wave energy could be used to create such a versatile robot? 
This robot seems to be the jack of all trades, it can move on snow, ice, sand, and can even handle debris and algae. Plus, it can perform rescue operations and explore the Arctic, making it the perfect companion for professional divers. Some users in the comments pointed out that the robot's appearance is similar to that of Anomalocarus, a shrimp-octopus hybrid creature. Hmm, I wonder if the robot is secretly a distant relative of the fossil creature.